love man cans. Heart Maine's booming business out of Marysville that makes candles and scents like this, New York style pizza. This morning, we found a new kid entrepreneur whose business is also blooming this spring. On the far north side of Riverside Drive, you'll come across a handmade sign and a boy with a dream. I don't want to give up on this. Welcome to Gavin's studio. Ten-year-old Gavin Flesh makes beautiful birdhouses. This is what works best for putting glass gems onto the bottom of the birdhouse. With a little bit of industrial glue and a lot of spirit, Gavin makes six a week. He's building up a supply for the Arts Festival this month in Delaware. And word is getting out about these creations. There was a time where my family members w would buy them, and then they started telling their friends, and their friends would buy them. And then they told their friends, and it's cool how that all works out. But he's also building something else, his college fund. I save it all up for college, and, you know, I heard how expensive college is. <laughs> so I, I try to do all I can for that. Gavin comes to his workshop at his grandmother's house every Friday night, working through the evening and all day Saturday. His mom, proud as well, a peacock or some other boasting bird. That makes me realize, too, that it will feel like a minute until he's graduating, so I'm glad that he's looking forward like that. Right now, all the sawing and drilling has put enough money in the bank for about one semester's worth of books. But he's learned a lot, of course, about birds, especially through this ornate church design, which is for indoor display only. This design itself, they cannot use outside because the birds won't go up that high. But we decided that after we made all these, of course, the, the hole has to be down here. He also tracks work orders and figures out taxes in his showroom upstairs where his work is on display for buyers to admire. In the midst of all of this, his mom, worried a little bit about burnout on birdhouses, is keeping Gavin in line. The deal is, too, he has to keep up all A's and B's, and then he takes guitar lessons, and he has to practice that. Gavin credits his family for helping business take flight and hopes to do this for a long time. I don't want to give up on this. It would feel like, you know, we wor worked so hard on this and stuff, and it would be bad to give it up. As you can see, he's a great kid. He doesn't know what he wants to study in college quite yet. He's thinking maybe business, but this little entrepreneur does have his own birdhouse Facebook page. You can find it by going to NBC4i.com, search the word birdhouse, and you'll find him at the Delaware Arts Festival on May 19th and 20th. Mike, those birdhouses run between $10 and $40. You can never get a start too early on saving money. <laughs> Thanks, Michaela. Coming up later, hackers.